Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Today, we got a unique matchup. I'm on my 7'3 post score. I'm going up against a 6'7 post score. Now, shout out to High Post. I've played him two or three times every single year, ever since NBA 2K21 Next Gen. This guy, he likes to make his unique small post score build. He likes to play the 1v1 core. That's the only place I've ever seen him. And you're going to see... He does work from the high post. He does a lot of post fades near the free throw line. Something that I can relate to because I do that as well. And you can see he shoots 70% from the field. He's going to be efficient, but I do feel like I have a big advantage this game. Now, you know, it's cool to be a 6'7 post scorer, being small post scores. It can definitely work, but when you're taller, you're going to have an advantage just like that. You know, he does the Kobe post top shot. That a lot of the time can get you space unless they're really on it. But I know that move's coming. I know which angle I need to jump to get the block. I wasn't even expecting to get a block. I was just trying to get a good contest. And right there, unfortunately, the block bites me a little bit because he ends up scoring anyway. I go to the post hop shot against him, showing him that I'm here to play. Now, both of us are not really strong rim runners. But right here, you see he starts off. He does a post spin to the same direction it throws me. If you have high post control post spin technician on a hall of fame you are going to be shrugging people off even if they are taller than you now check this out first couple possessions of the game he's rim running and i'm going straight to the hoop we both know that that's not what we're expecting so we both do it to get easy points but obviously you know it wasn't going to keep up we're both going to stop the rim runs stop the dunks make each other work for the shots and as you can see he goes to the paint but i'm seven foot three if I'm there, there is a very good chance that I'm going to block this shot. I'm able to get my post scoring takeover because of the defense. Also with the offense I'm playing as well. His shot clock is getting low. He goes to the post hop. I jump. It's red. So far, so good on actually defending his post moves. But you're going to see it's not going to quite keep up. I got the post scoring takeover now. I try to do the post spin off him, get to the paint, get an open close shot match right there. He is not going to have a chance to contest it at all right here. Makes me jump, but his up and unders again. That would get a lot of players, and I'm not going to lie. He might get one in this video, but we are ready for it. Now, the advantage he is 100% going to have against me is he's going to get plucks. It is what it is. It's what I got to deal with being a tall post scorer with low ball handling. Even with unpluckable, people are still going to get plucks on you. Playing good defense on his post moves, though. He tries to go to the post spin, which, you know, again, might work against a lot of players. But I am kind of anticipating it. I've seen this before. Check this out, though. He can't get the post spin off. He goes up right here, goes up with an up and under like he did before. And this time he's able to green it. It's only a yellow contest me with the ball now. I'm trying to get him jumping. I can't do a post spin, post fade, post hook every time because he knows how to defend those. But since I'm so tall, I can't hit a red contest in the paint. So far, big post score versus small post score. The big post score is winning. But, you know, it's only a two-point game, and check this out. He goes up with a post hop shot. This time, I'm not locked in enough. I don't jump. I'm not there. He's going to green that every single time. I got to stay locked in on those right here. Little basic one spin to the hoop, dunking the ball. Using the quick first step I got on this build from the post control. But you can see he has his post scoring takeover now. He runs post shot daggers. So if it's not a red contest, it's going to be green right there. I mean, I jump. I can't even get a yellow, let alone a red. He makes it 12 to 12. I got the ball a little behind the back to the hoop. Like I said, he knows how to guard the post moves well. But if I can just play a little bit different than I usually do against him, that's going to give me an advantage. I'm actually able to get a nice bump right here. No clamp, seven foot three slow center. You love to see it. And I'm not going to lie, him outdoing me at the Kobe post top shot. It's a little bit insulting, so I need to get one right here. Right here, he tries to do a post hop, but it ends up giving him a fadeaway. I've done that before. That is very unfortunate, but for me, that is a nice little boost. If I can score right here, it's going to be tough for him to come back. I go for the Kareem Skyhook. He's all on top of it, though. Unfortunately, blocks it. Sometimes a block just leads to a score anyway. 
18 to 12 now. All I need is one more stop to really secure this game. He goes to the post top. I jump again. It says open when I think maybe it could be a yellow. That is absolutely why the post top is one of the toughest things to defend right here. Jumping back. He jumps. He gets yellow, but in post shot daggers take over. It's not going to stop it right here. He sends me a message telling me GG. Again, shout out to High Post Fade. I mean, he has been an opponent for years it's always a fun time playing against him because it's such a unique play style nobody else plays like him on the game making a tiny post score shooting high post fades right here i got one more gameplay for you guys this is going up against just more of the typical sweat you would see you see he's got three stars he's almost a legend which is very rare on this game he shoots 66 percent from the field 61 percent from three starting off where it starts getting interesting but i've seen this before westbrook step back westbrook step back I'm able to play up on it get a nice contest right there It's going to be a struggle getting the ball cleared because he's going to reach every single time That is how the sweatier players like to play defense right here. He's playing a bit too awkward I'm able to get space with the hop open green right there five to six now again going to the Westbrook hop backs I'm trying to get a bump on it It is very tough to get a bump and it's very tough to keep up. He goes for the RT fade. It is wide open Thankfully he misses that's pretty big for me now I can kind of get a cushion on this lead which I am going to need he's going to be able to get threes at a more efficient rate than I will it's just again being seven foot three it's not like I can really create my own three pointer with my speed with anything else you know I can try to do a post fade three a post hop three but even if he jumps he's going to be on it right here he thinks I might hop I end up just going with a straight pro two fade right there seven to ten but as you're going to see I mean, obviously, I can't keep it up. He's just much too fast. I'm trying to take away the three, give up the rim run if I have to right here. I actually defend it decently well, but like I said, he's going to get steals. He's going to make me pick up the ball like he does right here. He does it again the next possession after he scores, but actually, check this out. I'm able to kind of drift him around me, get an open layup like that he definitely should not have moved he should have stayed under the basket 14 to 14 getting the space greening the post top giving up the dunk but i'm just trying to score twos every possession i'll give him a two every possession and i will win this game i do not plan on messing up on offense especially when he's giving me open shots like that now i gotta say shout out to this guy right here he ends up completely baking me he acts like he's gonna dunk like he's been doing does a basic one spin back tries to just do a standstill shot but it gives him a fade again i've done that before that is unfortunate but he's just gonna have to get a stop to make up for it and i do not plan on letting that happen a little step back right here go to the post playing it safe getting the space greening the mid-range shot 20 to 16 but check this out just when you thought the game might be over, all I got to do is give up a two right here and then score the next possession. He ends up trying to cook me for a three. And obviously, you know, I should be on top of that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you guys tell me he shoots. I think I ghost it. It says wide open. It is what it is. Maybe I should have jumped. But I just got to end this game. And in this game is what I shall do with the signature post top shot man let me know if you guys enjoyed the video this is tonic i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace